Hello, this is Sage, the Balloon Sage, and in this video, we will be creating these deluxe balloon bicycles made entirely of 260s. Today's technical tutorial teaches tricky techniques via two-tone twisting, but after making quite a few of these beach cruisers this morning, I am ready to demonstrate to you the most efficient construction process. Choose your color scheme. I've chosen neon pink for the tires and silver for the frame. And we begin with a fully inflated tire color and a three-quarter full frame color. Take your silver. I'm going to make a flat pinch twist to start things off. I'm going to be making a couple pairs of these throughout the design. A couple of the same techniques keep showing up. And make a six-finger cylinder twist. Tie it off. Now take your tire, make a bubble. Twist that in. And you should have this. Now, you're going to notice that when you create the front tire, it is done, the spiral is done in a clockwise direction, which is exactly what we're going to do. If you have a little bit of trouble, just match it up like that, okay? I'm going to twist it around. You're going to really have to use your hands here. You're going to have to, <laughs> having big hands helps here, but if you don't, just have to get creative. You spiral it very tightly. You'll notice that I'm kind of switching back and forth with my hands, always holding it from the, out, the outer layer into the center all the time, because this will come undone. I'm not going to show you it. <laughs> well, fine. This is what can happen. But once you've got it twisted and held the way you want, you're going to channel your inner Suzanne Summers here, get those thighs working, and <laughs> this is the only way to do this that I figured out how to do it. Uh, I, I have no other answer, sorry. But uh, take one side, put it up, and you're going to match these cylinder twists together. Uh, again, six fingers. And it's up to you whether you want to do a pinch twist here, it might make it easier. But you want just the very tip of the balloon to stick it out. So, there we go. Put it over, and tie it together. Very carefully, this will want to come undone. The pinch twist has already come undone. But you come up through the middle with the rest of that part of your frame. Beautiful, just like that. Inflate another tire all the way, and two more silvers, each approximately three quarters full. You're going to see some of these same techniques here. Again, we're doing the pinch twist on the ends, nice and flat, one here, and one over here. The difference on these cylinder twists that we're going to make is that there'll be seven fingers instead of six. So measure up four, three, there's your seven finger cylinder twist. Do the same right here, four, Three. Perfect. You're going to tie them together. Just like that. Bring down the tire. And you're going to notice that for the back tire when you're forming it, this will be in a counterclockwise spiral. So, make your bubble uh, again. It helps sometimes to make it a little longer than just a spherical bubble. Tie it in. Now you line it up. You're going to see that in fact, it is going this way. So, you're going to have one of these on each side and a long rest of the portion on each side, but it's important that you flip it, they can connect like this. So, the spiral. Nice and tight. Same technique. And you know what comes next. Bam! Back between the legs again. So bring up one side like we did before, and create the other side in tandem. Uh, let's say another seven fingers. And it's up to you. You can make the pinch twist here or not, but I recommend it. So make a pinch twist carefully, of course. And you want to tie these two bad boys together right at the top. Carefully again. Ooh. And uh, have a little tip of the tail coming out, or the uh, tip of the tire coming out. And this will come up between the two and switch just like this. Now, you can let go because it's all set. After doing the same exact technique with your other silver, take the one closest to the spiral's end and curve it along the spiral wheel's top, tying it into these pinch twists. Finishing off with the seat post. It's 
time to put the pieces together, beginning with an 18 finger cylinder twist. One, two, three, four. And two pinch twists. One, and two. With your other balloon, you're going to come up seven fingers, so just like this, tie it off, and you're going to tie it into those pieces. Come back down, make the twin right here, and tie it all in together. The frame is completed with a silver inflated almost all the way, and that will be tied right here into the rear wheel pinch twist. Tie that knot in. You may notice there are three cylinder twists connecting at the bottom, and these will be 16 fingers in length, so four hands, very simple. Right here, tie up into these two pinch twists right here. You're going to come back down matching what you just did, and tying that into these. Very carefully. Very carefully. There's going to be one final one. We'll come through the, the very bottom, and I like to make this one 17 instead of 16. It's a little longer. So, four hand lights, and then one. Push it off. Hold it up. Each handlebar should be 16 fingers long. So one, two, three, four. Okay, stop here. Mark it. And one, two, three, four. At this point, pop off. Tie off. Make sure there's a little snip here, a little tail, so you can tie on the grip. And uh, move. nice and even. And stick it in those pinch tops. Carefully, you don't want this to pop now. <laughs> After all, our hard work. Woo. Got me sweating over here. All right, and uh, a little bend at the top to give it a nice little shape. Perfect. The grips are super simple. Just inflate a pink to, I don't know, maybe six pounds, it doesn't matter. Gonna start off with a little tulip twist. You should know how to do this. Pinch it off. Push it in. It doesn't have to be this fancy, but I like it. About four fingers. And two tiny little pinch twists. Like that. So pop off. Tie this off so you can use the rest of it. And you're going to make the same exact thing with this piece of balloon. The seat's pretty simple as well. Just grab Pink inflated to, you know, four fingers of tail. Make a bubble, make a pedal twist, push that bubble into the pedal twist. Make two pinch twists, very flat, to keep everything in line. Make another pedal twist, but this one will be rather elongated. Like that, tie it in. I think it's called a banana seat. Right, Ellie? <laughs> And you're going to end it with not a bubble, but maybe a four finger cylinder twist, maybe three, whatever will fit inside of there. So pop this off. But keep a very tiny little piece because if you want, you can add a cute little, is it in frame? I can't see. Yes. Uh, a cute little blue part here. Maybe it could act as a light, whatever. It's just a nice touch. So if you want that, you can put that to the side. Off and stick it in. And that is your seat. Now let's just tie the extras on. You can go to the handles, simple enough, but you want to make sure it's flush, very tight into those pinch twists. There's one. Here's two. And the seat also very tight against the silver. Okay. Put it on 
There we go. From here, it's all about manipulating all the pieces, making sure it looks streamlined. You want to make sure all your pieces are in order, the wheels, everything's straight. Look at it from every angle until it looks perfect. Like most balloon models, the dimensions of this bicycle can be altered to your aesthetic specifications. I want to thank you for joining me on this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got tons of great balloon tutorials, so click the link on the screen and check out what I've got to offer.